first of all, we have heard more rail strikes announced. Just, just tell us yeah. about about the the date and the politics behind yes. behind those, because Grant Shapps, who was no longer in post, but he was criticised for not mm. negotiating directly with the unions. What sort of approach will we yes. see from the new government? Well, Anne-Marie Trevelyan, who has now come in as Transport Secretary, is taking a much more conciliatory line right. in saying that she is going to be having meetings. That doesn't substantively change anything, though, I don't think necessarily, but she's making more moderate noises. Right. We want to sort this out. So there's been an announcement that... Uh, Train strikes by various unions, including the Train Drivers Union, will go ahead on October the 1st, also on October the 5th. Um, it's likely to impact uh, the Conservative Party yeah. conference. It's also likely to impact hundreds of thousands of people across the country. And, of course, it's just the latest in a series of strikes that began this summer and are set, no doubt, to continue. But they're saying that the 1st of October will be the biggest one yet in terms of the number of unions, the number of railway workers involved. Fascinating, that shift from <coughs> Grant Shapps to Amory Trevelyan, the new Transport Secretary. And we were talking again before about how these things do chop and change. But one step back into that, during her leadership campaign, which she won to become Prime Minister, clearly... Liz Truss also had a big chunk in the speech that she delivered at each hustings and at each big event, which was unfinished business of reforming the trade unions, unfinished business about how many votes, what percentage of support you had to have before you did a strike, not least the transport unions. Yes, absolutely. She will be keen, and it will be fascinating to see how it unfolds, to really crack down on these unions, as the, as the government sees it, bringing the country to a standstill at will... But presumably it's... Anne-Marie wouldn't be conciliatory without the boss's licence. No, but I think her sounding conciliatory is more tonal yeah. than actually necessarily meaningful, because they will not want to be seen to bow down, because that sets a sure. dangerous precedent. Vital distinction. Let